You see, on Road Tripping, we just enjoy driving the highways and the byways because we get a chance to come and visit you. See what's going on in your towns and cities and see what activities we can get involved in. So come on and go with us, Road Tripping. I'm looking for some cat called the Mal Hatter. Yeah, you're the big Hollywood movie star. No, no, no. I don't know about a movie star, but I'm here, Phil Proctor, and we're going road tripping. You mean road tripping? <laughs> you fixing to be introduced to the only art form in the world that combines the speed and sound of motocross with the skill and accuracy of a brain surgeon. We got 16 of the best artists here in the United States competing at this competition. Chainsaw art is now a part sport, part competition. We've had these guys out here a couple of days carving already. You know, that's why you're getting to see these great pieces of artwork. You know, and ladies too. I mean, you know, it, it, it's, it's becoming a family thing. We get people out here, we have a great time. This is not made to cut volume. This is made to cut blocks out of the way. A little bit longer when you need a little more reach. A little bit bigger when you need to get it done. I'm here now at the Bourbon Street Grill, where I'm gonna figure out what Cajun and French Quarter cooking is all about. What are we actually preparing here? The boudin over at Bourbon Street. All right, Street. now she got the boudin now. Yep. Tell me about the boudin. The boudin is a Louisiana-style sausage stuffing, where they do rice and sausage all mixed up together in a casing. Excellent, excellent flavor. And it's called the boudin. It's the boot. Okay, oh, my see, boot. So now, oh, no. We want people to get up here and experience everything excellent that's come out of New Orleans in the past couple hundred years, which includes all kinds of uh, different cooking. It's everything from seafood to po' boys. It can be as spicy as you want it or as mild as you want it. It's all about great flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Lou's Soda Fountain and Grill. Well, I've been wanting to open a soda fountain for about 12 years. It just seemed to be the right time uh, to, to do the soda fountain. It's good food, country cooking. I understand that there's something called a loose double decker. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a triple bun. It's uh, two four ounce patties, and it's about that big, and it's an art in getting it in one, your mouth at one time. What I'm understanding, I just heard you ask me is that you need a professional to go down and show you exactly how to attack such a burger. I didn't ask you that. Yes, you did. You just didn't know it. You trying to get something for nothing. No. In your mouth, the whole thing, top and bottom, in one bite. Now, that doesn't mean you don't eat the whole burger. <laughs> get one good, clean bite. One clean bite. Now, you never said I couldn't squeeze it. No, I did okay. now. OK. So, you know, I enjoy a good food challenge. And I think I'm going to enjoy this. Watch this. When you were a kid, they call you Big Mouth? Yeah, but for other reasons. <laughs> 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 we're all familiar with such sports as basketball, football, baseball, lacrosse. But have you ever heard of Whirly Ball? We're here in Roswell, and we're going to check out Whirly Ball Atlanta to see what all the commotion's about. Okay, we got all the rules. We got the players. Team Yellow down there. Take a look at Team Yellow. They seem to be ready to play. All right? But on this end, I got Team Red. Woohoo! We about ready to do Whirly Ball! If you are in a yellow car, you want to throw that ball at the black dot on the yellow board. Red cars, you are aiming for the black dot on the red board. Now, Daryl. Can I burn any calories doing this? Sure, it's a sport. You're gonna burn calories uh, defending and, and on offense, and I can guarantee you today, playing against me, will sweat. Number six coming on, here she comes, and oh! Beautiful pass, and oh, so close, five! I gotta go. Back up! 